Hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage. Uh, as I was sitting here, I noticed... Look up here on the roof. Looks like we got some car parts up there. Oh, what is it? I think I actually reached it. Oh, I've seen it again. What does that say? Oh, it's a glow plug relay. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we'll just set this here for now. And it looks like a valve cover. Interesting. Anyway, I don't think I have a ladder tall enough to get up there. Okay, well, we're back here on the wolf. Uh, let's go ahead and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just get this window removed immediately. It's annoying me a bit. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and just toss this out here. We're going to have to take a run down to the uh, a good old pawn shop pretty soon. All right, let's go ahead and stick this back up on the shelf. All right, well, uh, I was made aware, and thank you very much. Apparently, I left off some control arms on the back here. I think uh, they said there was four per side. Oh, yep, look, I see where I, well, at least one of them ta attaches. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other rear control arms real quick for this. I believe we're going to need four more. Let's just go ahead and get two uh, to start. All right, let's get these on. Uh, let's grab the wrench and... All right, let's see here. So one obviously goes there. And where's the other one? Well, I was trying to see if I could see it by eyeball. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, it's above the dam. That's why I couldn't see the, the spot. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's get the other two for this side. Uh, and whoop, there we go. All right. Good to know. Good to know. That could have been uh, probably a disaster. Uh, but it definitely did make me think about adding uh, this to the list for the tests and experiments uh, series. There we go. All right. And was it this one? And that was the one. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like we have all the control arms uh, on the bottom here. That's quite interesting. I wonder... I believe this is uh, modeled after a Mercedes, right? I wonder if they really have uh, that many going on back here. If so, man, that's a nice car. Okay. Uh, while we're at it then, we might as well look up front, make sure we're not missing anything. It doesn't seem that way. Yeah, I think we're okay. I don't see any spots that are missing any hookups. So, okay. All right, so what can we do now? Well, I think we could probably start working on the rear end and the uh, drive shaft, uh, transmission and such. I was actually thinking about just throwing this four cylinder in real quick. And actually, I just wanted to see if this thing would, if the four cylinder would even fit in here. It should, it seems like all engines fit and everything. Okay, that is the tiniest engine. In the world okay we're not gonna put that on but I just wanted to kind of check it out so let's oops uh, it looks like that's fine let's go ahead and leave that there all right and well I guess what we could do is start removing the engine transmission and all that off of the good old NIV there yeah I think we'll go ahead and start doing that uh, but before we do so I do want to make sure we're gonna have enough money to repair the NIV uh, as that is going to be our money maker for the time being. being. Uh, but let's check out the blocks and see exactly what kind of four banger. Uh, actually, I should have switched it to just, just a four banger. So let's do that. I wanted to see what the largest engine in here is. Okay, it looks like it's going to be this two liter down here. And it does cost uh, 1100 bucks, almost 1200 bucks. Okay, good to know. Uh, and let's just take a look at this real quick. I think that's the only thing. Well, the pistons, of course, I believe are pretty much fried. 
Yeah. So that's not, those aren't going to be too expensive. I think they're like a hundred bucks each, each. Okay. So as long as I keep uh, probably about two grand, uh, we should be good. And we have a lot of stuff still to add on here. There, yeah, get out. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and start removing the engine. Let's get this pushed back again since I just screwed it all up Oop, a little bit too far. I'm going to be curious to see how this handles with this uh, rear end the way it is. Oh, great. Okay, looks like we're going to have to move these. I messed that all up uh, by screwing around. Oh, Jesus, get off the damn thing, would you? All right, all right, all right. It looks like I missed a tire to fill up. Oh, is my brake on? What the hell is going on here? It doesn't even look like it works. Okay, maybe it's this. Oh, I think I have the... Do I have it lifted up still? Is that the problem? Oh, well, there we go. I'm, a, I'm a, a genius. Okay, let's get it back. Yeah, I must have forgot that tire and this tire. Oh, you know what? Maybe I filled them up before my crash. That could have been... That could have been a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get those tires filled up again. Yeah, I bet you that's what ha that's what happened. All right. All right, I do love that tire animation, but we'll skip the rest. All right, and that is the final tire. Let's go ahead and get this thing back up in the air. And we'll get that, uh, we'll start putting on the, uh, diesel engine and all that good stuff. So, let's see. Uh, up, up, and away. All right, there we go. We're going to need our wrench. Uh, let's go ahead and put this pump back. There we are. I should have did a little bit of a cleanup today, uh, but that's okay. I think it's better to clean up in between projects, so then you can kind of see the mess uh, you have created. Yep, we're going to have quite a bit of stuff going down to good old Steve. Uh, we should get a decent amount, but let's go ahead and get this. And we, of course, are going to have a lot of body work to do on this thing as well, but that's okay. We can get to that when we get to that. Uh, but let's get all these wires detached first. There's the starter. I'm going to push it back a bit. And let's push it over too. Now, I don't think I've been utilizing the garage over here yet. Uh, but we will eventually. Once, uh, as our parts start to get more and more, uh, we're going to have to move them over there. So, all right, that should be all of those. We're going to go ahead and just disconnect the exhaust from down there. So we could take this turbo pipe with us. Uh, we can disconnect this and we've got to grab the fuel line. Let's see where oh, there it is up here. Okay, and that should oh no, we gotta obviously disconnect the transmission. I wonder if we could pull out the transmission with oh what's that? Oh that's the exhaust. That's fine. Just sit over there. Oh, but yeah, I do wonder if we could pull out the exhaust with the uh with the engine. Uh, let's grab our jack real quick. Oh yeah, now let me know down below where the jack stands are. I, I did stop at the shop in town, but I didn't see them. And I don't see them in the shop. Oh Jesus. I don't see them in the shop right here next to us. Um, maybe it's just not updated for the current version or something. But yeah, I can't seem to find those jack stands anywhere. Alright, let's see if we can detach the back side of this. Oops, buddy. Freaking hell scooch down a little bit more okay I'm actually surprised just kind of surprised we're unable to get under this thing if I'm perfectly honest with you okay I think I could see oops I don't know if I got all three or not actually I think so okay so let's see if that'll actually allow us to get the engine out I might have to disconnect but hopefully not oops we already got that side I think this is the side we're missing. Okay, maybe we do have to remove it. I believe I got all the wires disconnected. We got the starter one here disconnect. Oops. Oh, shit. Let's get this hose out of here. And we got the alternator disconnected. And 
indeed. We got the engine mount disconnected. Yeah, that should be all of them. So it does appear I'm going to have to take off. Uh, unless I did miss one of those bolts on that transmission there. Now, let's just take off the wires completely just to make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll just take them off. Yeah, we'll take that battery off too. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take it off. I was hoping I could take the whole transmission off, but apparently not. Okay, yeah, we do have all those disconnected. Okay, so I'm going to have to get behind there. Nope, not quite, but I can see some of the bolts. Ah, there we go. We made it in. Uh, hopefully we won't shoot up through the engine. Yep, we just did. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't. Oh, we're draining the oil. Damn it. And now, of course, I can't even find where the thing goes. Oh, God, we're, we're screwed. Right, let's just drop it outside, get unstuck. Hopefully we can find that plug again, and we can. Oh no. Well, at least it's, uh, at least we know the oil's actually still good. Let's go ahead and actually look at it. I was hoping it was going to be nice and brown. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, yeah. We drained a little bit, but that's all right. Um, let's grab the wrench again, and let's see if we can, uh, well, we're going to have to take off the starter. Okay, we got that. I think there's like three on this side. Oh, we can actually see in here a bit, but... Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Okay, now we should be able to get the engine off. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and toss this puppy into the wolf. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. There we go. A little bit of stutter there and there we go the engine is locked in let's go ahead and grab that transmission and there we go we're gonna bolt her down uh there is no drive axle so we will put that on uh let's see one two. okay we got that one and three. Oh, why is it okay never mind it's just kind of glitchy. Uh, we might as well hook up the alternator. Oh, that is a bit unfortunate. The wire travels through the turbo there. It's all right, though. All right. Are we forgetting anything from out there? I don't think so. Oops. Get out of here. Yeah. Nope. Not. Nope. That's just for the nev. Uh, yeah, the starter, of course. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, no, I was gonna say, did I miss a bolt? And there we go. Tighten. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get our drive axle before we, or our drive shaft before we completely finish this. Uh, we are not on the niv. It's gonna be the diesel, and we are on the wolf. All right. All right. Apparently, drive shaft is a suspension part. So we will grab that. Uh, let's look at the differentials real quick. We got a 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2, 3.8, 3.2
just makes more sense. It won't be hanging and won't have no problems. All right, well, well let's just go in the middle with the 3.8. 4.6, uh, the gears might be a little bit too short. 3.2, they might be too long. So, okay, and the differentials are dependent on car. Uh, let's go ahead and get that wrench. Um, we're going to give it a save real quick. Done far too much for it to not. You know. Okay, let's see. Right here on the back. Perfect. All right, there we go. And, of course, we haven't got the uh, whatever the hell those are called, half shafts. All right, we got the engine on so we can now put the drive shaft there we go there we go and i think it's just the three it almost looks like a four four bolt but all right that should be that and so we're going to need need the half axles let's go ahead and grab those real quick uh yep there they are let's go ahead and grab two Stick one on this side. Oh, God, well, uh, they definitely make sure their axles are oh, well, secure. I think there's probably one more. Okay, there it is. And let's grab the other one. Now, hopefully, yeah, we should be able to get this thing started. Uh, definitely today. And at least take her for a good old test drive all right there we go and is anything connect on this side i don't actually know i think they just slide in right well one way to find out is we can just click around like a madman okay yeah i think that's i think that's accurate okay so we got everything hooked up now we just have to plug in the engine with all the wires and Ports, put a little bit more oil in it, of course. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drop her down, see what other engine components we're going to need. Or engine bay components, rather. Now, there shouldn't be any... Shouldn't be any radiator fluid in here. There's no hose uh, connected on the bottom. Yeah, okay. So... Let's go ahead and remove this top hose... We're going to need a lower hose. Uh, do we have a battery? We do not. And do we have a wires main? That is the other question. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we do. Does it fit for... Okay, and it does work on all cars. Okay, good. Looks like we're going to need a battery first. Uh, let's just run across the street and grab one. Cha-ching! Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, you know, I do want to try something actually real quick before... I keep forgetting every single video to try this. Hold on one second here. So I'm curious if we could actually move this. Okay, we cannot. Okay. Oh, there's the fish. Can we move the fish? Oh, he's going back in the tank. Okay. And can I grab that wrench? Is that a thing? Or is that just like decorations? Okay, it looks like it's just decorations. Hey, buddy. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I was hoping I could actually move that because I'll just take it to the office. Uh, but that's quite all right. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench, grab our battery, get her plugged in here. Let's see which side does she go on. Oh, I think we might need a... Oh, no, there it is back here. Oh, I didn't realize... Oh, I didn't realize there's already... Uh, it looks junk though, so let's go ahead and make sure it's off. Uh, I think I tightened it on to the starter already. Oh, nope, it was on that. Okay, yeah, good. They were junk, so I'm glad I got new ones. Uh, let's get the battery in though. And I don't think there's a holder. Yeah, there's not a clamp to hold it down, so put the new wires on. There we go. We're going to hook up all the parts first before we actually tighten the terminal. That safety first. Uh, where is that one at? There it is. Okay. And the starter. There we go. We still need to put the fuel line back on. 
Well, apparently I don't have any fuel lines, so we're going to go ahead and grab one of those real quick. Move it back to engine, and there we go. Uh, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and get our lower hose. Our upper hose. Uh, we might as well grab the exhaust while we're here. And I don't know if there's a gas tank. Uh, we, will, we will check. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out here. Let's just set it down for now. And let's put these hoses on. We'll start with the lower. There we go. And let's tighten this puppy up. Oh, it's a little bit hard to see from that angle. There we go. And let's grab that upper. Um, hopefully I didn't buy the fuel. Okay, you know, I, there's no fuel line. There can't be because I just put the engine in. Okay. Uh, let's stick that upper on. There we go. And let's go ahead and get the fuel line attached. There we are. Beautiful. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, there's no gas tank. Uh, so we'll get a gas tank. Now, hopefully, since it is a diesel car. Well, there's two different variants, isn't there? Hmm. Well, we are going to take this across the street real quick. I have no clue what fuel is going to be in this tank. And I don't want to be going through the same thing I went through last time. So let's get this off. And let's get her drained and see what kind of fuel came in here. Oh, maybe none. It looks like it might be empty. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of weird. Some tanks come with fuel, some don't. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and just put some in real quick. Well, if we can... Uh, there we go. Okay, that should be good. Let's go ahead and get that cap back on. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's weird. Some uh, do, I, I, you know, somebody mentioned that it's dependent probably on your starting difficulty. Uh, but uh, it does seem kind of inconsistent with the different tanks. Because uh, that other tank for the NIV, uh, it came with gasoline when we was trying to use it for diesel. And then we just mixed the fuel. All right, there we go, though. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure all these are tight again. They are. Okay. Are we missing anything else? Uh, starter, we need to tighten that up. We already got the bottom bolt, so. That transmission is on. Okay, everything should be good. We do need to add a little bit more oil to it. And of course, uh, some coolant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and how much oil? Probably about a quart. Indeed, it does seem that way. Well, we definitely need brake fluid as well. So let's go ahead and grab this. And get her filled up. All right, we're just going to throw this away right away. Oops, or not. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's see. How much did that fill up? Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's put that cap back on. Perfect. Uh, do we have any coolant back here? Or oil? It doesn't appear so. No worries. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of each. And that should be enough. Uh, we might need two bottles of coolant, though. Let's see. Uh, so grab one and one. I think we can fit these in the bag. Yeah, we can. All right, let's see here. Uh, we will go ahead and start with the coolant. Uh, do I have the cap off still? Of course not. So we're going to remove... Oh, it is off. Okay. All right, let's see if we could hit this uh, first try. Just kidding. We didn't. Oh, looks like the hitbox is a little bit up further. Oh, it looks like it might take two. It takes two, baby. Oh, yeah, it definitely takes two. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that other one real quick. I don't want it to overheat and ruin our engine parts. All right, let's get this thing filled up the rest of the way. And we should be... Okay, there we go. 
All right, there we go. We are full. Uh, there's a little bit left in there. So I'm not going to throw it away yet. And we just need to add a little bit of oil. I think about a full quart or so. Or a liter, rather. Or I believe it's two liters. Yeah. All right, there we go. Go ahead and throw that away. We missed the trash can. That's all right. Uh, let's see here. I think that should be everything. We never did tighten down the rest of uh, the, the battery. Is that a horn? I'm quite curious about that. Okay, let's see. Tight and tight. Uh, these tops are tight. Yep, very good. I think we got everything. All right, well, let's uh, give her a start and see how she rolls. Oh, no, we're going to put the exhaust on. All right, there we go. We're not trying to blow out any eardrums today, so... All right, here we are. Perfecto. And there we go. I wonder if, um, whoever add like engine bolt or not engine bolts, exhaust bolts. Uh, cause usually there it's hooked up, uh, somewhere like up here. And then there's usually another hook down here. It's usually on like a rubber, a rubber dangly thing, uh, to reduce vibrations. But I think we're all set. Uh, well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, now that I have everything built as well, uh, we're just going to give it a quick save. And I think we're good. Yeah, let's bring her down. Let's see if we can get it started. I don't think... Oh, wait. I, I need the dash for the... Uh... I need the dash to add the key, right? Yeah, that's a wiper switch. There's no ignition. I was hoping the ignition was on the steering column here. Uh, but it does not appear to be the case. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's see if my shifter works. And it does. Fantastic. Throw her back into neutral. Clutch works. Brake. Gasoline. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and get the interior dashboard. There's a digital speedo. That's kind of cool. There's the dash. Okay, and appears that's the only one that we need. That is one... Oh, there's a cluster. Okay. So those are two separate. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go ahead and get this big old freaking dash in. And there's the key. I see the key already, so... Uh, let's just take a screwdriver. Indeed it does. Let's see where we put that thing at. Alright, there she is. Alright, let's get this thing screwed down. One, two... Oh, we're going to have to open the door there. Uh, three. Oops. Four. Okay, we got them all. All right, that should be everything we need to at least get this thing started. Uh, let's go ahead and close up the hood. We're going to pull these out so we can take it for a little test cruise. Uh, we don't really need our... We don't really need the dash. Or, I mean, the gauge cluster, right? Nah, I don't think so. I am curious, though, where the digital, uh, the digital readout goes. Okay, I don't have an e-brake. That's fine, we don't need an e-brake. All right, let's just push her out here real quick. All right, there we go. Is my FOV too close? Uh, possibly a bit. I can't stand uh, the FOV fully out like this. It's like, obviously, the freaking stuff isn't that far away. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it down... To maybe about 60. Alright, I do think that looks a little bit better. Alright, let's see if she starts. She does. Alright, let's throw in first. It brakes do work. Alright, fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out the map real quick. We're just going to throw her back into neutral. 
And yeah, let's take a look at the map here uh, and see if there's any... There is a highway race. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we could do that one. I don't know if we... Oh, that's really long. Well, I don't know if that's actually the race. Um, rally, rally, rally. That's the race track. But it looks like the highway race is over by the store back there. So let's go ahead and uh, run over there real quick. What time is it? Okay, we're doing good on time. All right, let's test this puppy out. Actually, let's throw her into this view. Oh yeah, did you see that? We got a burnout, actually. Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen that in any car. Okay, you know what? Let's go back up here real quick. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, don't have a lot of room with that trailer. Let's see if we could, uh, do a donut. Oh, my God. Okay, this is nice. Okay. So much better than the, uh, lad with my testing video. All right, let's go ahead and head over by the shop over here. And let's see if we can do this race. Okay, I think that's the sign over there. Does it say highway? Highway race, perfect. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Well, let's keep her in first and hopefully it'll lock in place since I don't have... Um, uh, looks like the gears don't lock it in place. Oh, well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Maybe if we... I should be fine if we hurry. Uh, let's go ahead and get over there to the sign. Enter. Okay, we have to get over to that spot. Yeah, let's see how she does. Let's see how she rolls. There we go. Shut the door. Let's get this puppy started back up. All right, and let's get into position. I don't know how much fuel we have, uh, but I think we did put about 10 liters in or so. All right, let's go. This will be the first time I've ever done the highway race. Looks like it's a two minute, 20 second race. So hopefully uh, if we do meet that time, We could definitely go with the uh, lower ratio uh, rear end to get a little bit higher top speed. This thing does kind of blast blast through them. Let's go ahead and switch. Oh, since we don't have a gauge cluster, it actually doesn't show up. Yeah, we might end up putting that different rear end in just so we have a little bit more... Uh, top speed. I guess I should have put the gauge cluster in, but that's okay. Yeah, we might not even be able to make the time with this rear end. It seemed like it handled pretty good. Oh dang, that other one's way out there. I don't want to have it full throttle. We ain't trying to blow the engine. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make the time. And we got freaking Crazy McGee over here. Well, we might make this. I... I no, it doesn't look like it. I was going to say, I think that might be the uh, finish line there. Yeah, we're going to definitely need the other rear end. At least I'm pretty sure. Unless, of course, the end is just right after this. Uh, did we get... We did pass through it. Oh, I see it. Jesus, it's way up there. We're not making it, but we're just going to go ahead and get it. 
uh, just so we could clock the time and really see the difference between uh, the time with this rear end and the other one. Easy. Yeah, we're quite, quite slow. And here we go. Hit the brakes. All right. Yeah, they're not going to give us anything. Uh, all right, that's quite all right. Well, let's get back to the garage, I guess. Yeah, we'll definitely put on the other rear end, and uh, we're going to put the gauge cluster on just so we can see our speeds. And, of course, uh, so we can see where our RPMs are uh, so we don't blow anything. Yeah, so I'm already kind of maxing it out, it feels. All right. We'll just keep her a little bit low like that. Well, it handles pretty good, though. Uh, with this rear end, so... We'll see. We might leave it on. I'm going to be very curious to see uh, when we do make this time if... Uh, oops, I didn't realize I still had that up. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get it removed. There we go. A little bit of a close call there. But not too bad. If these cars were doing their little crazy uh, left and right turn, we might have got struck, but I think we're alright. Well, I either ran out of gas or I blew the engine. Uh, but let's see if we have enough oomph to just keep us going. I'm going to put this in neutral. There we go. Yeah, let's see if we can coast all the way back. Yeah, I should have put a little more gas in. Should have put the gauge cluster on, but I thought it would have been fun to drive this uh, basically bare bone. It is a racing vehicle after all. Uh, well, we're slowing down pretty dramatically. We're up here by the racetrack, though. A little bit of a hill, so hopefully we can get down. Uh, but I really do... Yeah, this is going to be fun to actually take on the racetrack uh, and see if we could do some drifts and stuff. Well, this guy up here is drunk. Hey, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's definitely drunk. <laughs> Oh my God, she about hit me as well. Yeah, let's just keep this coasting here. I'm pretty sure we ran out of gas. Hopefully I didn't blow the engine. I would be pretty sad and want to cry. But no restarts as we know. So whatever happens, happens. Uh, and we're screwed. Now if the game crashes, hey, hey, hey I won't complain. Uh, but no. We are not going to let the game crash. Well, this does kind of suck. Because I have no taxi, you know what I mean? Well, maybe somebody will come behind me and give me a push. Yeah, come on, push me, guys. Just hit me in the back. Give me a little push. And uh, let's go ahead and pop the clutch and just see. Okay, yeah. I think we're out of gas. All right. Well, these guys aren't going to push. Let's just pull her over to the side. I don't have a parking brake, so I can't uh, really stop it. Well, I can with my brake, but it's not going to stay here. Right, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just do this so then it doesn't roll away. All right, well, that's that. Uh, stop. Okay, yeah, right. let's get out. Let's make sure we didn't blow the engine uh, so I don't have to cry. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and just peek inside as well. Make sure all the pistons and that look good. Okay, they look good. Definitely ran out of fuel. Uh, that is not a problemo. Um, I kind of want to just leave this abandoned here. 
Um, I, I really would like to stop using the good old tow feature. I wish there was an option in the settings to actually disable tow. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Wow, check it out. This thing's already worth 23,000. Wow, okay. I don't remember what we started with. I'd have to go back to the video before we bought it and see what we started with, but dang, we're doing pretty good. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to chuck it back to the house. Should I just tow it? We're going to tow it. Yeah, we'll tow it. Screw it. I don't have enough money for the tow trailer and all that stuff, probably. I, st I would have to still rebuild the NIV and all that stuff. So let's just pay the 100 bucks, get it back there. You know what would be nice, though, is if um, there was an added uh, car dolly. Uh, you know, the ones where just the front wheels go on. Uh, there is the tow hitch, which, which does work. Uh, but it's I think it's mostly just to kind of pull your vehicle out of a ditch. Or if you're in multiplayer, you could tow vehicles and have somebody steer. But yeah, let's get this back. Oh, it's not worth as much anymore. Oh, that's quite interesting. I wonder why it went down. Anyway, tow to garage. And, uh, well, luckily for you guys, you won't have to watch me run this all the way back home. Uh, but I am going to quick save real quick. And hopefully our car doesn't roll away once it does get back to the house. That'll be a little bit sad. And, uh, yeah. All right, I'll meet you guys back over there. Uh, we're actually going to see if we can get a ride. Let's see. Oh, I'm not even high enough to jump on his vehicle. Come on, let me jump on, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, man, and yeah, I was hoping I could jump up onto here and uh, catch a ride from them. Unfortunately... Uh, I can't jump high enough. All right. Well, we're almost to the bridge, I think. Yeah, it looks like the bridge is just right there. So almost home. Well, I actually found out how to get onto the vehicle. Got to back up a little bit and then uh, jump. All right, hold on. There we go. But we don't stick to the car, unfortunately. Uh, so we can't get carried on <laughs> not a thing anyway uh, we'll meet you back all right we made it back oh good look the car's up in the air over there so it did not roll away uh, that's actually good to know all right let's go ahead and jump over the wall Ugh, there we go and yeah, let's go ahead and just finish this up real quick before we end the video. We're going to go ahead and get our, our gauge cluster. Uh, I'm going to buy this digital speedo as well. And let's get her attached. Uh, probably a screwdriver. Oh, nope, it just kind of goes in. And where does the digital one go? I'm very curious. Does it like go up on the dash? Possibly. I don't know. Let's see. It does. Okay, does that does that screw on? Or does it just kind of sit up there? Oh, I think it just kind of sits up there. Okay, well, cool beans. Uh, you know, I... Well, we don't have no fuel in it. Uh, we could easily just go ahead and do that. But I think we're going to call it here. I think that was pretty successful, minus the running out of gas part, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty well together. But of course, there's still a lot to do. Um, in the next one, we will go ahead and finish her up, possibly, or maybe take her for another race. We'll probably take her for another race in the next one. Uh, leave her as light as possible uh, with his, all the stuff out. Um we were going to definitely be changing out that rear end. Uh, we're put on the smaller ratio so we can get a little bit of a higher top speed. See if she still does burnouts. See if she still does donuts and all that good stuff. But all right, I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, we will see you guys in the next one.
Later on.